Uh, this is because uh, Hungarians didn't care about me at all. They didn't care about me even a little bit. But a little earlier, there was like under the news, Novice in Slovenian language that you would list. It was this um, news here that it became listed at Seol. Internet. No, I don't see it anywhere. No, let's go back. Nothing. So the only thing I'm going to go is I'm going to go to what was earlier during the day when I visited the same page, it, was, it would just give me, oh, cool. This is from the Seoul today. You know, so let me see. Yeah. It was this news here that you see that was listed 12 hours ago. It was like a main news, like a headline. Uh, if you were to giggle Google News in Slovenian language is say Novice. Uh, what they would do is they would just uh, under this type of search conditions specifications, they would list as a main news and this news here, this one here, this news here. What's interesting is you know, Hungarians did not care about me at all. They didn't care about me at all. And the same, they cared about me as much as the British did. So I know that something is wrong in respect to the news I have just published, in respect to the in respect to the water tester, which I ordered from AliExpress, you know, here you can see it appears it took five days, five work days in Hungary and have gone through the customs no less than twice. Uh, I don't know, but there is something stinking about this stuff. Very, very stinking about this stuff. Because of so much paranoia, water paranoia, they incited in me that when Viktor Orban, especially why this is so suspicious, when Viktor Orban, uh, when Viktor Orban have suggested me that I have to buy this tester, actually not that I have to buy this tester, he stated to me, and if you will buy this tester in front of the Slovenian people, in front of the Slovenian politicians, the so-called journalists and so on, he had a group of people that were, and if you were buy this tester, the water tester, ah, you can see one below here. If you would purchase this water tester, I would make sure that the water tester would go twice across the customs so that you would be reminded of being poisoned through the water at your home. Rust was the main topic of MK Ultra. All through it became evident that a plastic was the deadliest one. Plastic bottles, hot plastic bottles that they used for me to consume the water to not agitate uh, colon cancer issues, um, right side of the neck area, gland nodes problems, because it's what they claim it would uh, explode. How do you know about the colon cancer? The, about the colon cancer, in my case, 
you can see the eardrums in and out popping in and out in and out in and out driving like crazy if you don't take care of the column intestines so i know that when it comes to those issues that there is colon and intestines are connected to the gland nodes throughout the body it affects entire system and not to mention also uh, livers and kidney kidneys uh, you will definitely in my situation for what I, for the purposes i was used you could not go wrong even according to my memory from mk ultra i gave you the description that will match the description of the people that are used as a food testers something i have suggested vladimir putin have used so hungarian prime minister Viktor orban insisted that this will go twice through the customs and he was not the only one, the only European, if you like, politician. It was also Ursula von der Leyen. It was also others that they insisted to me that this would be the sign. But what's, what I find amazing is that Prince Charles, King Charles, would repeatedly deliver me through the, to the Budapest to uh, customs where they would break the customs for the merchandise delivered to the Europe. And he was, he knew absolutely for every merchandise from AliExpress, how those travel to whatever country. And so when I considered these issues and why I considered that there was also at the same time, they insisted that if I would go and I would state about the Hungarians, the way they mistreated me, I'm not taking any side here because I learned how it works. But if I would go and start to talk about how Hungarians mistreated me, then that it would be in fact here publish the article how the British had through Versailles a Versailles a plan uh, to split Slovenia on half. Uh, basically how we lost the Trieste, Gorica, and stuff like this. And in fact, that it should be two Italians. And in fact, that it should be uh, even further that British demanded that Slovenia should lose to Italians and so on. Yes. So uh, I have a feeling that there is something extremely, extremely stinking here in respect to the procedure which I, for which I suggested here that it took five days, that it went twice through the customs. Uh, it could well be that Viktor Orban, who was just as familiar with uh, Hungarian customs for every item that goes to whatever country, uh, just as King Charles now, it's King Charles now, no, no longer Prince. Uh, it stinks something to me. And it became suspicious, in fact, that there is something else. Viktor Orban did not give a fuck about me. Viktor Orban had my car stolen from the free parking lot and vandalized in the Budapest. Uh, he had one uh, placed on a uh, behind the yard where they tow cars like on a tow tow yard uh, lock one up and charge me more than what the car was afterwards sold for I don't know how much the car was sold for now, maybe I don't know if it was thousand euros uh, 800 to thousand euros beautiful car really really beautiful car I wish I had the car today uh, and next to it, mother had to pay out of the pocket 1,500 euros more just to get the car from the Hungary to Slovenia. And the car was actually hammered, the door handles and damaged, vandalized, basically, at that yard, whatever they transported. This beautiful Volkswagen Polo, as it was. Uh, so... Something there is stinking about this procedure right there. Why five work days in a Hungary? It could be something else that Viktor Orban, uh, British royals, and what became extremely, extremely hostile against me 
when I traveled to Hungary to file for political asylum in 2017. That's basically this site here, this Slovenian site here that stinks to me that uh, they could have well something to do with brainwash because the stuff is designed in a such a way that when they tell you, when they told me, uh, it, I'm going to make sure that it's going to go twice through the customs, you know, and I'm going to make sure that it's going to go twice through the customs. Um, and it was all kinds of stuff that went on that they, they instilled in me some of which I have explained on the video the day earlier. That's why also the article is sure the article was released 12 hours earlier, but the article was released 12 hours earlier, but that doesn't fucking matter because according to this here, to this visit to postal office on February the 27th, which I published the day earlier, right? Let's see. Uh, it's still listed. It must be still listed under the March the 2nd, this stuff here. But if you pay attention to, you're going to see that this video was published in a very early hour of so today, March the 2nd. Because it's a time right and now. Or I'm going to say when I even started to record, uh, it was March 1st, as you problem. see right there, right? So when we go through this video here and it ends up, not only by demonstrating the items that I demonstrated you right now, such as water tester, right? Which I demonstrated you right now. I have listed one in yesterday's video. You know, here it is. You can see one. It's right there, right? So you see right there in the middle of the screen is also water tester, a blue one right there. It says 899. That's a water tester. And once I started to touch this issue about the Hungary, just as I touched one today on the blog, and have gone even to point out Hungarian like, politician uh, who was involved in torture, uh, such as Viktor Orban and his apprentice, that's uh, Peter Sciarto, uh, these people here had no reason to go and not publish simultaneously the very next day. That's actually in the same day today. Also, probably about 12 hours later. And now actually, probably about some six. Is it says here the time? It says here 5.55, I think. I'm not, I'm not even sure. 12, 12 hours and 36 minutes. Um. It's what this article is online. It's it was just an article that was already created based on which I was brainwashed during MK Ultra and then simply let into circulation through this website by this individual who participated in MK Ultra. There was no journalist, I think, in Slovenia that did not participate in so-called MK Ultra. So I think this is all about all about the World War II issues, World War One issue, World War Two issues, and so on. So all he had to do is copy paste this stuff, and with a click of the button, basically publish it. So I have no reason not to believe there is something shitty and something fishy about this water tester in respect to Hungarian customs for which Viktor Orban suggested, if you will learn, that it is uh, this kind of issue. Uh, and in that case, it's going to go twice through the customs, uh, assuring me with the Ursula von der Leyen, so just that you would know what they are doing to you. So it's, it's fishy, but I need to video record a sink, our sink in the kitchen, that is just... Spitting the water out once it's not being used for some time. Once it's not being used for some time, uh, the sink is actually it's like it's like it's like like doing like this before it starts to work. You know what I mean? It goes like. And that's not normal because we didn't have this. We have this stuff since I ordered this 
item from AliExpress. Well, that's also the way to make people paranoid and then actually prove them very, very, very wrong. And uh, basically dispute, uh, delegitimize their claim. Discredit them, or I should say, make them discredit themselves. This is how MKUltra works. This is what these people have used. This is what the violence was used for. So I have to be really, really careful and yet find out exactly, including with the pipe downstairs, with the valves for which they insisted me. They would do this stuff, especially because of the theory. It's a nurse Yanko from Home for Elderly People came, police, psychiatrist cops, that it is the bubbles that is done like this, that it's the air bubbles that go, and it's this air bubbles that settle in uh, in an installation in a pipes, hoses, whatever pipes, because and because it's an air inside, it pushes the deposits out, and that's basically what you get when you open the pipe. So I know that something is definitely not okay with it. I need to learn what exactly is it. It's very, very fishy. The theory itself is extremely fishy. This is basically the stuff they have brainwashed me with. This is what they wanted for me to see. Uh, the poisoning was done to me. And of course, I also have to learn about what is Hungarian customs, basically, in respect to this item. Why is it, it appears with this would this item go twice through? Uh, as it appears like is it, it appears like as it would go twice through the customs. Uh, it's impossible not to note that this is the first item ever from AliExpress. Also, very important stuff for me to note. The first item ever for which the AliExpress would not describe me, like going under my orders. AliExpress for this particular item would not describe me already on the page. A tracking. You know, I don't know how much you have noticed yesterday, but this, I have a very, very bad feeling about this stuff because it appears to me they have invested like a West effort. It's like a West amount of bullshit in it. So that's why... In particular, it stinks to me so much, this stuff. You cannot, you under the tracking, you only get here, this stuff here. The seller shipped your package. The seller shipped your package February the 13th, 2005. You don't get anything. You eventually have to go to the Google search. You have to enter right here. AliExpress tracking. And you go here and you have to enter that number so that you would finally get basically the results. That's why I'm saying that this item especially stinks to me too much because Hungarians did not like me. I made them a lot of favors. They got a car industry and they got out of industry because of me, because of I insisted and insisted and insisted in front of MP Ultra. In front of the Slovakian people, in front of Romanian people, in front of maybe even Croat people, for the Hungarians instead to get the industry in Hungary. Do you understand me? Because it was like funny stuff was happening in front of uh, now King Charles, in front of German politicians, in front of the French politicians, in front of even Chinese politicians, and so on. And when when this type of stuff was done, and I always insisted it would be Hungary, Hungary that would get the industry. Still, Hungarian people did not give a fuck about me. They really didn't like me. Uh, and I think they fucking hated me so much that next to the King Charles, who took time to for the trip, to the Hungary to screw me up with this watch. I think they actually took time to fuck me also with this stuff here. Do you see here?
on this page, basically something I already have presented you with. There is nothing else to say here in respect to this video. So we're not going to make this we'll make this story short, concise about it, and we're going to go from here on. So I'm not sure about whether the stuff I stated here in respect to this issue here, I'm not sure about that in respect to this issue, that it would be something that uh, is factual, that it's the way it is, but um, we'll have this stuff investigated thoroughly and learn more about it. Don't know if, if, it, if it works like this. If it's not perhaps for every such item, a regular procedure for when he arrives to Slovenia to go through this type of procedure. I am not sure. I really cannot say anything about this stuff. That's all I wanted to say. This was recorded There is currently some stuff I'm doing that I need to find out. Uh, but I will come to the bottom of it. I want to know whether Viktor Orban, Sciarto, Peter Sciarto were telling the truth about this stuff. They would do this stuff so that they would alert me about the rusty water in the house. Uh, or was it for something else? The things that I actually am really uh, disturbed about being tortured to this degree. And I'm going to say life deprived and definitely poisoned severely. I need to get these answers straight. It matters. Why this stuff, especially uh, something wrong about this uh, customs in Hungary? I'm not saying that there is not a rust in the water system. If you pay attention to my video, which I posted earlier today, in this video, I have not even mentioned any kind of air bubbles. I didn't mention any kind of air bubbles. I did not mention the theory of the psychiatrist Peter Kovsch, how the mama whom they have repeatedly, in front of whom they have repeatedly made, taken me downstairs with the water valve is, main water valve for the house, uh, and they demonstrated her how to open, close, and play with that, and how apparently, according to them, just uh, just one enough so that uh, it would be the air bubbles that would form themselves, and according to them, those to air bubbles the water would... Is, uh... Uh, cause um, rust the deposit to disintegrate itself through the um, through the water pipe system installation. I didn't mention any of that. I didn't, I never stated any of that kind of stuff on the video. If you pay close attention to it, I never mentioned the theory of the local psychiatrist Peter Kopsch who was brainwashing me with this theory for no less than 15 years. I never stated that. Let me show you something else here. When you uh, boil this water here in Slovenia, in the city of Anonymous, it's so packed with the calcium that you're going to have a large deposit of calcium on the bottom. Suspicious because uh, they claimed me that if I would be boiling the water, it would be uh, I'm gonna I would have a lack of calcium. Uh, therefore, uh, to protect myself, they insisted beginning in 1995 the water had to be boiled at least for five minutes. Is for the neighbor here. Uh, who left to Ljubljana sometimes, I think. I don't know. Uh, I remember that he was maybe here about uh, 
I don't know, maybe, I don't even know, in 93, but he would still be here like semi, until like 97, Marco Berger. Uh, you have to boil, you have to boil this, you have to boil the water, at least five minutes you have to boil the water to destroy bacteria inside, rust and, and that kind of issues. Never was thinking about this kind of stuff in my lifetime. You know, all of a sudden, uh, the world totally changed around me. Uh, hijacked from Miami, United States of America, Florida, uh, from the sunny Miami to the city of the Novo Mesto. Not that I would have anything positive to say about Miami. I don't have anything positive I would say about that I would have to say about Miami. Sorry, Miami stinks. Sucks. Other than crime, the worst place in the world must be. It's a shitty and as hot as hell. I'm going to put it this way. With my being hijacked on a frequent, a regular basis, despite being. Well, I don't know. I've seen everybody around me complain about the United States of America. I never did. That's what makes this case very, very strange. Everybody had a problem with the United States of America. I never had. The United States of America pushed too far with it. So, on one hand, that I would die if I would boil the water because it would be calcium deposits that I would destroy. And on the other, that bacteria, rust, all kinds of issues, they would simply uh, accumulate if I would not, uh, to the very dangerous level, if I would not go and uh, boil the water prior to every use. Then we started to play with the valves and with all kinds of theories in respect to the water. Uh, the first, what they were using was a chloride. Uh, and so then they changed, I don't know what the year was, maybe, I have no idea, maybe it was 2008 or something like this, whatever it was, they changed into another system, uh, stopped the chloride and have changed, replaced that with some, some newer system, with something else, uh, just as efficient, but without the chloride, which would make skin less sensitive to showers and that kind of issues. Apparently, is what I'm saying. So, uh, big improvement. It wasn't me, I was in the United States of America, but we have all the neighbors, the city people, the countrymen that complain about the chlorine, and then in my name, to help me out, they change the entire system into whatever the system is. Let me see that, the water system. So there is there are certain issues here. What the issue exactly is, I would have to find out. Uh, but they use another issue, whatever it might be, that are using for um, I have no idea what they what they exactly they are using. I have to find out about that. I know they have done something, I know they changed something, whatever they have done to it.
I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to even say if it's listed here. I'm just going to say that they removed the chloride. I think they did something like in 2008 they were doing. The thing is, the point I'm making here is totally something not related to this shit. What is related to this shit is that the main pipe travels through the Kirka River from the other side, on the other bank of the river, right through our yard. Right here, right in front of the house, and is used to redistribute water for the entire village. The point is that we had not only uh, water treatment people here for the city doing all kinds of work but also plenty of private companies uh, even people who fix the sink and all kinds of issues that pertain to the house and during MK Ultra every one of these parties was involved in MK Ultra when you sit next to the King Charles Prince Charles it's better than in Britain or from abroad you just have to tell him that you wish also to have the system the kind of system and it's all fucking taken care of even if you don't fucking need one there is people that would say oh do you have a proof like uh they were so worried about corruption about the proofs uh, for corruption, they were extremely, extremely worried, bothered with it. So I'm going to demonstrate you what it looks like once it cools off. You're going to see plenty of sparks and down on the bottom. Usually, corruption would work like it used to be in the very old times. It was like this that you would go and do a favor, dirty favor to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, at least in the movies it's like this. Then you go to the banking account and they need to update the Hollywood movies a little bit. And I, uh, pardon, I haven't watched Hollywood movies, I don't know, probably for the last 30 years. For the last 30 years, I didn't go too far. For the last 25 years, I really did not. Um... It no longer is that you would hire somebody to kill somebody and deposit him money on a banking account. Uh, apparently in the United States, as I watch these police channels, there are still people to perform this kind of favors uh, for undercover FBI agents, police, and so on, you know? Uh, but in a real world, the way it works is usually the head of the state that would go to your prime minister, uh, president, uh, and or officials uh, afterwards, and or two officials also that are concerned for the safety, for the well-being of their citizens, and would then for the certain financial favors concerning the economy compensate for the murder of the individual. And then nobody will totally, totally indirectly the person get executed. This is very, very, very popular throughout the Western Europe. Uh, I heard from politicians whose names I'm not going to even mention. Uh, it's also whenever you would have a certain treaty that would take place, that would take an effect that is economy-wise important, or maybe even something more significant. Uh, that uh, the other party would uh, pull you on the side and ask you for a little favor. It's what I was literally explained how it works when it comes to corruption. So uh, those kind of stuff that you see on, on, on a Hollywood movies and what you see on a, on a documentaries, the police documentaries, don't really pertain, I'm not going to say only to the wealthy people, but it doesn't work like this, you know. Uh, but that doesn't mean that people don't get murdered, that people don't get killed. And in fact, the, the kill orders don't come straight from the top of the state, like from people like K-1, 
King Charles now, Prince Charles, King Charles. Uh, or Prince William or Prince Harry or the people that are significant in British case of the British state. Especially uh, alarming to me, although I'm not saying that this is not being used for the rust poisoning. I believe that this shit is being used. I believe that the rust poisoning is being used. I'm pretty sure that the rust poisoning is, was, not only during MK Ultra was part of it, but I believe that this is being used. Because you will not know the difference. You will not know the difference when you get poisoned, severely poisoned, and if I brainwash you during MK Ultra, that from that moment on, because you're going to be fucked up for two, three days. And eventually you're going to end up pissing blood when I poison you. And I demonstrated this during MK Ultra, And then I do this to you in real time. And I guarantee you that I will convince you enough if I will continue to poison your water. I will manage to convince you that you do suffer from initial poisoning. Do you understand me? And this is what in this case was done. I'm not saying I was not poisoned, water poisoned. Water poisoned, I believe I was. There is, however, some other issue in it. Uh, in respect to the air bubbles. The air bubble man, psychiatrist Peter Kops, stated me. And if you will say, that's why I know there's something shitty about it. And let me remind you. I never mentioned the air bubble theory from the psychiatrist Peter Koch. In a previous video, I've never ever mentioned to you anywhere. If you pay attention to this video here, like the water but of course I'm going to read this video so, here. I never ever mentioned to you anywhere the so-called air bubble theory. Well, the psychiatrist Peter Koch insisted me that... After 15 years of brainwash with the air bubble theory, he started to insist me that if I would state that it's an air bubble uh, causing the erosion of pipes, uh, rust uh, deposits disintegrating in the water uh, due to valve adjustment downstairs, uh, that I would definitely be uh, labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic. But the funny thing is, as Rachel Maddow suggested one time, being, um, you know, charged with a crime that you have not committed, you know, charged with a crime that, uh, not that you have not yet committed, but charged with a crime that you have not committed, but in this case, you should be fucking charged with a paranoid schizophrenia as I was in 2012, that I had nothing to do with it. And, yeah, if I would not control my anger issues, I would be definitely also charged with not a hate crime, but only, but yes, also with a hate crime due to racism involving it, discrimination, not discrimination, but heavy racism through enforcement of genocide, literally. You got a slender chances to avoid that one, boy. Slender chances not to expose yourself to hate, hate crime. And uh, a primary to a crime, physical violence or something like this, outburst, if you can control yourself emotionally enough. Do you understand me, what I'm saying? So psychiatrist Peter Kapsch insisted, uh, he insisted to me, he said, uh, Then I'm going to have something about air bubbles. Then you're going to have air bubbles in your head. So who the fuck is this guy that dares to rape, abuse the law, the constitution like this? That he basically jerks off every fucking day on the law and constitution. He did for the last 50 years. Who the fuck is this guy? It is so important that he can do, uh, you know, uh, not even King can do stuff like this. 
Not even King Charles is allowed to do this stuff. So I want to know who the fuck is this guy. This guy already crowned himself for Slovenian king. Is this his majesty, Peter Kapp? So what is it? This is a king, king of Slovenia, or what is it? I mean, so that's why I am extremely, extremely cautious about this issue. But the stuff that you learn from this video about how people are driven insane, driven nuts, and labeled as a schizophrenic paranoids before they even you possibly could even prove them they have anything to do with a paranoia with a schizophrenia this is basically the way it's done in the way it was done in the case of water pipe system every one of these issues they brainwash with only had a certain i'm not going to say moment they only had to seize a certain moment to trigger a certain mechanism through which they brainwashed and they will do all kinds of stuff that will pop up in your head and before you know literally the pipe is doing like before it's literally let the air out basically clean itself before it opens itself on a full uh on a full uh flux basically i'm gonna say to express myself professional Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was acknowledged again as a lunatic by females, by people who did not know about the water installation piping system. From my language alone, it's evident that Cretin Idiotin was learning about mechanical engineering from my own case. He would go through the stuff I learned in the school. He, he would study that. In the meanwhile, I was blacklisted listed as good as dead, banned from employment, even systematically from employment of any kind. It wasn't about even holding a job like a security officer. Forget about mechanic or mechanical engineering technician and so on. I had nothing to do with it. I went to the school, never got hands on practical work, nothing. Instead, I had the police investigators in psychiatry scotch. Uh, to suggest me that if I'm going to say something like this, is going to be air bubbles. So you, you get familiarized with my case. You get familiarized with how the fuck this stuff is done, how they destroy people that are intelligent and strong and healthy, how they decimate them into the dust and even prove them in front of the world that they are mentally ill, that they are no, and so on. So I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, this procedure will continue to be in an investigation. Mother, I told her today, if she's going to go to the home for elderly people during investigation, which is going to take place, I told her, I'm going to make sure you're going to rot me in the jail so that this you're going to serve for one purpose in this life. There will be no home for elderly people. There will be home right here, normal, like normal people act, Together with the father, minding your own fucking business, taking care of yourself, I'm going to do my best to take care of you. And, or if not, then you're going to do all that other stuff I'm going to let out about what took place, what you were doing with me. I'm going to make sure you're going to rot me inside of the jail. You're not going to see the fucking daylight. There's no fucking difference. Whether you go to the home for elderly people or you go to the jail, there is no fucking difference. I am not going to be watching you rotten slowly in the jail uh, at home for elderly people and eat myself. If it's going to come to this, we're going to discuss all the issues. I'm going to go ahead and press all the charges that are necessary so that you're going to serve my purpose, my life purpose, at least one time in life. That's all there is to it. March the 2nd, 2024. Yes, I already know how I'm, I'm going to get this stuff done. If anybody thinks he's going to find a way around and this is going to play smart ass, uh, like mother was dreaming about how I'm going to visit her uh, at home for elderly people and she will not communicate with me. And uh, she also was at home for elderly people. He also had her. And she played goof over there and stuff. That's not going to fucking happen. If you decide you're going to go and you're going to do something like this, that you, you think you can do different and so on, then you're going to be, you're going to actually, you're going to serve the purpose, purpose of your life, basically. And so basically, in this case, serve my purpose.
for those that are not familiarized with this is the criminal whom, believe it or not, Slovenian psychiatric system have appointed through the psychiatric Ljubljana Polje, even as a as my psychiatrist. Actually, he worked as an independent psychiatrist. And uh, on the list of the psychiatrists in the city, um, I really didn't care look anymore. Uh, I was abused from one psychiatrist to the other, from one door to the next door, wherever I came. Uh, I ended up also at his place in real time. Uh, but this is the criminal who was used to enforce down the throat, or rather what I would refer to as a terrorism. I don't know how much this individual is aware of it, but I will also charge one with the acts of a terrorism. Do you know what the terrorism, terrorist is, the terrorism? This is going to be one form of the charges, uh, barricading yourself inside of the private residence, inside a private home with attention to cause act of terror, uh, closely affiliates you with a terrorists, with a terrorist organization, terrorism, despite you being, uh, I'm going to say, under close guidance of police. You may say if you act as a extension of the police, however, in this case, it's not determined exactly what you have acted yet, as of yet. And uh, this is basically what the water looks like. I was, I promised you I will demonstrate you what the water looks like. So uh, this is just the beginning. I don't know. I hope you can see. Uh, it was a penis. Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. They stated have raised his bar, his expectations. Uh, quite highly with his theories often times uh, overwhelming. I'm not going to say the brain, but I would say the knowledge is a really frankly, I've not seen more uh, clumsy awkward person than this individual. This individual was like whatever the fuck he touched. Uh, he was extremely, he's extremely, extremely clumsy. But he's comfortable in his own world, in a world of, uh, he got all kinds of advisors uh, from the politicians, foreign politicians, not only domestic politicians, and of course the police, uh, psychiatrists from abroad, they tutor one on how and so on. So uh, he is extremely, extremely well uh, versed. He is very, very well uh, acquainted with a lot of issues in this world. He could be a really good politician. Uh, if you like a terrorism and those kind of issues, um, a lot of homicide in a society, this could be a really, really, really great politician. He, he, a politician. He really, really knows um through a really really clumsy ways proven like a million times wrong uh proven like god knows how many fucking times being in violation of the law if you want this kind of country that uh, can constantly prove you wrong about everything that is written in law this guy could be a very very good uh, very, very good politician statesman. But in some other country, they would um, they would lynch one before they would even get one inside of the jail, I think. I think the people would. I think the people would tear one apart in any fucking country in the world. I think that if you, you are a semi-democracy, the individual like this would not last for too long. Uh, I was not the only one who did this to he killed people all the way to Ljubljana. Police in Ljubljana have used his services to harass Slovenian workers with issues that pertain to the work locations all the way to Ljubljana. Because he really specialized himself in creating deadly incidents at the workplace.
the people overall uh, could not understand his bubbly theory uh, in, in a sense that they accepted one as a logical explanation for what would be the rust coming out of the pipe. What exactly, what else is being done uh, to possibly have this type of issue running in the water system is actually a good question. I probably did video recorded this a little too early today because I got I got really really upset about this issue and so what I am gonna do is I am gonna repeat this procedure tomorrow in the morning to see what the difference is uh, between these issues um, yeah. Let me see something. today it got to I'm my attention sure about much longer yeah this glass uh, that you see right there to me not because it would be dirty or something like that uh, but the glass itself to me it looked like uh, it, it did not look to me legitimate the glass itself looked to me so therefore i would not even pour uh, from uh, this canister here i would not even pour from this canister anything in the glass uh, already looked to me reddish, suspicious, shitty. Uh, actually, so shitty that I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna film the whole thing. It wasn't because of this this thing here that you see, Is it uh, but it literally was because of uh, because of uh, because of the glass that you see. The glass was dirty in a sense that it was um, or the last. Uh, it was a clean glass. I took it from the from the from the drawer where the glasses are stored, uh, and it really had nothing to do with the with 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 absolutely any issue that could possibly pertain to the color that I encountered inside of this glass. The glass, the color, the water inside of the glass was so shitty, uh, reddish, that uh, it. Uh, Next to the pipe that was blowing the water, like uh, spinning basically the water out at the beginning, as it does when you start the day. That's how I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. I want to film this stuff. Uh, and when considering the fact that I already have licked considerable amount of water, uh, it, it, it did make me very, very uncomfortable about this stuff. It did prompted enough curiosity for me to pay attention to this shit. And yeah, this is the issue that I discussed a little earlier, uh, the day earlier, basically in the morning hours, just as you seen on a previous video. Um, it's basically right here, this thing here, yeah. Very early morning hours, what I posted. Definitely, I posted this stuff before this guy did. Definitely, I did. Uh, not that this guy would be some kind of a patriot, that he would uh, prefer me in some way. Uh, you know, he can prefer me if he wants to testify, basically, whom he have seen, in front of whom this stuff was done. Uh, then it's actually worth, for me, something, uh, in this case. But uh, this guy, this guy, yeah, this guy. So this individual with his theory did manage to convince even people into it that were not subjected to MK Ultra. If it was up to him, there would be a lot, a lot of people that would be labeled as air bubbled and would have to come to him for the psychiatric pills, which, however, he alone was so afraid that he claimed, well, before you're going to, before I'm going to make him eat psychiatric pills, he claimed me during MKUltra, he will definitely escape.
from Slovenia. So the air bubble man is yes, he wanted me to be seen as 